Why should you watch the Tucker Carlson interview of Vladimir Putin? Is it the greatest interview I've ever seen before? Absolutely not. Did I learn some things? Absolutely. Is it worth the over two hours it takes to watch the interview? Absolutely. So recently, Tucker Carlson, he used to work at Fox News, traveled to Russia to interview the current president of Russia, which is Vladimir Putin. The interview is kind of unique. It's not your typical interview. Usually the interviewer is in charge and the interviewee you know, answers the questions. In this interview, uh, Putin's pretty much the one that's in charge. Uh, Tucker tries to get direct answers to direct questions and Putin shuts him down. And uh, there's actually a clip right at the beginning of this interview that kind of sets the tone for the entire interview. So I got a, I got a copy of that clip. Let's take a look, okay? Give it amicably, but they refused. Of course. Still, they collaborated with Hitler and engaged together in the partitioning of Czechoslovakia. But may, may I ask you, you're making the case that that Ukraine, certainly parts of Ukraine, Eastern Ukraine is in, in effect Russia has been for hundreds of years. Why wouldn't you just take it when you became president 24 years ago? You have nuclear weapons, they don't. If it's actually your land, why did you wait so long? Sure. I'll tell you. I'm coming to that. This briefing is coming to an end. It might be boring, but it explains many things. I just don't know how it's relevant. Good. Good. I'm so gratified that you appreciate that. I'm so gratified, right? That's. Uh, I think that's pretty much I'm telling Tucker to uh, sit back in your chair and uh, I'll get you a question if and when I feel like it. So uh, real quick, don't take this video as some kind of endorsement for Putin. Um, I don't support him. Uh, the guy's obviously done a lot of bad things and a lot, a lot of bad things in his life, and he continues to do bad things. So, so take this video as more of a uh, just a, a, an open-minded analysis of this interview. That's really what I'm trying to do here. Okay. And so, why should we care about this interview if you know Vladimir Putin's this this bad guy? guy you can't trust probably lies a lot that sort of thing why because rarely do we ever get the chance to get into the mind of somebody like vladimir putin vladimir putin is uh one of the most powerful men on earth if not the most powerful men on earth right he's not uh some politician from some district you've never heard of run their mouth on some crazy network he's not a uh, professor at some you know crazy university you've never heard of you know he's the real deal right he is really one of the most powerful men on earth. Uh, so there's there's a lot to take in with this. This is a very unique opportunity to get into somebody like that's mind, uh, because usually the only the only thing we hear about him or this war is what's ran through mainstream media, right? And if we know anything, it's mainstream media doesn't really train us to think freely. They train us to think like them. So just just keep that in mind. You know, the other thing is, you know, Tucker is an American. Which you know, which our country is actively supporting uh, a country that they're fighting against. So you know, that's it's a really unique situation, right? So just kind of take all that in and just appreciate the, the, the situation, okay? Um, as far as um, memorable moments, um, there's a lot to this interview, but one th some memorable things I found out is one he wanted to be part of NATO. According to him, he asked Bill Clinton to be part of NATO, and Bill Clinton initially told him yes, and then he ran it by his team, and then he came back and told him you know, it wasn't going to happen. Um, other things are, I've always been told that uh, throughout the years with all, you know, through the media, through these experts, they always say that Putin's in mental decline. You know, I think if you watch this interview, you're not going to get that at all. He, he honestly seems like a pretty well-rounded, sharp person. Um, you, you also hear in the media and these experts say that he's like, he's like this madman, he's on a rampage. And, uh, you know, just in this interview, I think what you, you'll get out of it is he's a pretty calculated person. You know, he has a reason for why he's doing what he's doing. He talks about how he thinks the United States should not be supporting Ukraine. He thinks that we have our own problems that we should be focusing on. And I think right there, take a step back, okay? Because I think most of us who grew up in the United States and in government classes, they always taught us the way that the world stays safe, the way that America keeps our influence throughout the world is we send all of these countries aid, you know, with food, soldiers, military equipment, money, um, water. You know, we, we send all these countries these things, and it, and it, and it 
keeps us kind of in a positive light and the other countries look at us as the, the country to follow because we do these things. Right. And I think this, this video will show you that, you know, our friends and enemies are watching us. Right. And right now, you know, our country is, is in a hard spot. It's a rough spot, you know, and you know, you wonder if, if they think we can't run our own country, uh, we have all these problems. Why would they believe that we know what's best for them? I mean, what is it to a country to, to take free stuff, you know, to take our, 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 our money, our, our, uh, you know, weapons and, and food and water. It's nothing for them to take it. They need it. Right. That doesn't mean that they have to follow us. Right. So just something to think about his long-term goal is to, uh, end the war and to rebuild relationships with Ukraine. Um, you know, another thing that, that gets touched on in this, in this interview is you always hear about China wants world domination. Russia wants world domination. Uh, in this interview, according to him, uh, he, you know, he wants peace. Uh, he doesn't want world domination. He doesn't want nuclear war. According to him, the, the reason why they help out China so much is China is their neighbor. Uh, he's essentially doing the neighborly thing. Uh, he looks at Xi Jinping as a friend. And he says like the thing that he admires about Xi Jinping in China is that they're always looking for compromise, which is something that he, he values that that's how he wants to run his country or, or run things as, you know, he's trying to always look for compromise. Um, a, a couple of other things are, he seems to get along better with Republican presidents rather than democratic presidents. According to him, he wants to get along with all of our presidents. Um, to him, it seems to be just uh, an ironic thing would do is w watch the full interview and get a pad and paper and focus on Putin. Because really, uh, I think this this interview is more about uh, Putin getting a message out to people. Uh, there's not really a lot of great journalist going on with Tucker. It's really about Putin saying what he wants to say to the rest of the world, right? Um, so I watched it twice. I got a lot out of it, just more perspective. Um, other than that, though, so uh, we'll keep a close eye on this. If anything else new comes out about this interview, we'll be sharing it with you. If you got anything out of this video, please consider subscribing. We have a lot more content coming your way that you don't want to miss.